Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Randomness here and today I'll be showing you how to remove the screen from iPhone just like this. Removing the screen from any phone, especially if the screen is damaged and broken, can be a little bit daunting for some people. These days, with everything that is available to purchase, and hopefully with videos like this, non-professional people are now able to do it themselves. This video will demonstrate how to only remove the screen. If you are replacing the screen, then the process will be the reversal of the disassembling procedure. The kit I'm using featured in my last video removing and replacing the iPhone's battery. What you will need to remove the screen is a pentalobe screwdriver or attachment, the triple zero Phillips size screwdriver or attachment, a suction cup and a plastic wedging tool. I will link to the kit required in the description below. If you do find yourself wanting to try this, remember that once you manually open the phone, in most cases, this will void any warranty you have on it. As this phone is long out, warranty isn't supported by the most up-to-date iOS and is almost destined for the bin. If this process doesn't work, then I'm not losing much. I'll show you the brief description of the steps to remove the screen from the phone. If you are following this, make sure the phone is turned off and the battery level is below 25%, just to reduce the chance of the battery catching fire or exploding, which is a risk throughout the procedure. So please take care. First thing you want to do is partially detach the screen from the phone to allow you access to the internals of the phone. We will completely detach the screen from the phone later. Unscrew the two pentalobe screws that are either side of the charging port on the bottom of the phone. With the suction cup, press it on the screen just above the home button to make sure there is a tight seal, as this will help you lift the screen away from the phone safely. While the phone is in one hand, firmly lift the suction cup to separate the screen. You may need to use the plastic tool to give you a little bit more stability to allow easier separation. Lift the screen open like a book. Just remember that the screen and the phone are still connected via the display cables at the top of the phone. For a while, until you have removed the screen, you will have to work with the phone in this 90 degree angle. So you can either prop it up against something or keep a hold of it like I'm doing. Before we start anything else, remove the suction cup from the screen. Next, remove the two 1.6mm screws that secure the bracket covering the battery connector to the board. Remove the bracket from the board. Next, you want to disconnect the battery connector from the socket on the board. When you are lifting anything from the board, make sure that you are only lifting the connector and not anything attached to the board itself. It's important to remember, if you are removing or reconnecting anything from the board, always make sure the battery is disconnected following this method first. The second panel to remove is towards the top of the battery, where you'll have to remove four screws this time. Within these four screws, there are three different sizes. Just remember which size screw went to where, because this will be important when you're reassembling the unit later. Remove the panel from the board to expose those screen connectors. Using the plastic tool or your fingernail, disconnect the front facing camera and sensor cable connector.
third cable that connects the screen to the display is the LCD cable. Lift this carefully from the board and the screen should be able to freely move away from the phone. If you are just replacing the screen, just do the reverse of what you just did to reattach the new screen. Hopefully that was straightforward and easy to follow. Just remember, only do this if you feel competent and confident in your skills. You may need to rewatch or rewind and fast forward a few times if you are following this step by step as you do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.